So in my first company, so I was a desperate CEO, desperate to grow the company. We had a huge opportunity. We had lots of cash in the bank and we couldn't figure out how to grow. We were desperate enough to put in place a three year highly achievable goal. This changed our game. A three year highly achievable goal is what connected the team and the business. It's what pulled together strategy and execution. And it's what ensured we had a predictable roadmap to deliver our goal. I can remember the day we set our first three hag. We walked out of the room and we were pretty terrified because we just set the biggest goal we ever had. Most of the CEOs I worked with actually laughed and said I would be fired that year. I would miss delivering on that 12 quarter plan. The opposite thing happened. Our team rallied around the goals we set because we set them together. We were gonna to work together to map out the 12 quarters and make it realistic. That's what achievable is all about. What if I told you, you and your team can easily create a three hag today? The first step is you have to write the date down three years from now, whatever your year ending date, write the date down. The second thing is what do you want your numbers to be? What do you want your gross revenue to be? How much cash do you want in the bank on the last day of that year? And how much of what do you need to sell in order to drive the gross revenue you want? Step three is you want to write down your three hag statement. This is what you want to share throughout the company. This is what ties to your long-term goal. You want to describe what your company will be when you arrive at your gross revenue number, the cash in the bank, and the number of things you have sold that year. Describe what your company will be. Step four. The next thing is the capabilities you need to have in place. What are the three to five capabilities your organization needs to have in place in that year in order to drive the fiscal numbers, the numbers we talked about, to make the three hag statement true? Step number five, what do you want to be known for? So if someone says your company's name, what do you want them to think about your company? With that, you will have your very first three hag and you'll be on your way to driving to your first win three years from now. I hope these strategies get you kicked off in the right direction. If you want to learn more, check out metronomics.com.